You know, it's really interesting that when they're already beaten up, that's when they can actually talk sense into each other. It's like they never thought about talking with each other before. <laughs> They're friends. <laughs> On our last video where I talk about Naruto and the Naruto talk no Jutsu and how Naruto was able to inspire Gaara and Nagato to change for the better, we realized that Naruto and Jesus or the Christian message actually have a lot in common. On this video, we're going to talk about the friendship between Naruto and Sasuke. If you like the content that you have been watching in our channel, Eucharistia, do not forget to like and subscribe and push that notification bell so that you get updated by more videos that we're going to make. So without further ado, let's jump into it. I thought you were an idiot. Alright, so this one is the, the scene where Sasuke and Naruto fought and this was the aftermath of their fight um sasuke for those of you who do not know is actually part of team 7 which was the original team that naruto was assigned to because ninjas get assigned one teacher and then they have um two teammates so part of that team 7 was actually naruto sasuke and sakura and naruto actually cares so much about Sasuke but Sasuke doesn't want to care about anybody. Sasuke himself was uh, the last child of his clan. All of his clan members, of all of his family members were actually killed by his older brother. But Sasuke is very important in the life of Naruto because Sasuke actually inspires Naruto. Naruto basically wants to change the mind of Sasuke from his ideology. This is when Sasuke finally admits that Naruto was right all along. Of course, Sasuke came from a very long history of, of anger and resentment. And at this moment, Naruto just finally shows him the true path, which is the, the path of sacrifice. And I would like to argue that Sasuke is really one of the best characters in anime because we see here the character development from that that kid who who is just really angry from the world and then suddenly this kid who knows how to open up to the rest of mankind because of of course his friend in the deepest parts of sasuke he really idolized naruto as well naruto had a very strong will he had a very clear vocation in life and that he wanted to 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 become hokage he really wanted to help keep people safe and he really cared for his friends Still want to keep fighting? Of course, I'll fight you as many times as I accept it. This is another type of revolution. You see, so Sasuke says this is a kind of revolution. So before the ninjas thought that revolution can only happen through wars, but now Sasuke is seeing that another kind of revolution exists and it's a revolution of the heart it's the same kind of revolution that naruto was trying to tell him even before and this is very similar to the revolution again that um jesus wants to happen into our own lives you see um what christ tells us is you have to be meek you have to be humble and you have to willingly sacrifice yourself for the sake of other people of course for the sake of love and if you want to make a difference in this world you don't necessarily need to become powerful you just need to be kind and you need to become a person that always is considerate for the needs of other people. I know it's it's really difficult to get out of that prison cell, your own prison cell, of your own emotions, of your own anxiety, of your own anger. But we can learn from the figure of Sasuke right here. Though it took him so many tricks and turns, he finally comes to understand. He finally opens up himself to the possibility of love and to the possibility of caring for other people and it's the same thing that jesus actually wants us to understand friendship is one of the greatest themes of naruto and as we know it is also one of the greatest themes of christianity in truth jesus really wants to befriend us catholicism has always preached that god wants to befriend us in a very intimate way but many people are not aware of this great love story and that's why I actually created the ebook Discerning the Will of God. Discerning the Will of God is just a 30 page ebook where I wrote it so that people who are interested in knowing what is the Catholic message can get to know it in a very commonsensical manner. 
Obviously, there are a lot of sources right there in order to start the journey of understanding Christianity. But I repacked it in such a way so that people who just want to get a little glimpse of what Christianity is all about can get what they're looking for. So if you are interested in understanding the friendship between Naruto and Sasuke, maybe you will also be interested in understanding the friendship that Jesus wants to give us. Check out the link to Discerning the Will of God on the link below and let's get back to this video. You know it's really interesting that when they're already beaten up, that's when they can actually talk sense into each other. It's like they never thought about talking with each other before. <laughs> They're friends. <laughs> They're friends. Because we're friends. And this is the same thing that I think what Catholic spirituality is teaching us. Some people, when they go to God, they think that God is this great, you know, legalistic judge. Uh, this person who just wants to um, belittle your life. When it's not. Um, God is so much how Naruto sees Sasuke. God really is someone that wants to enter into a deep and intimate relationship with us. This is what it means to have a meaningful life. It's to enter into a relationship with other people. And in the same way, Jesus just really wants to enter into this very personal space with us where we get to tell him everything that's happened to our day tell him everything that we're concerned about because at the end of the day jesus really wants to love us and that's what catholic spirituality is all about so he's finally returned these two great ninjas are finally going to start to work together and most of Naruto is actually like that. I think that the great message of Naruto is always about peace. It's about what are the consequences of war and what are the things, what are the steps that we have to do in order to maintain peace. And if, if we can prevent war, then that's it. That's what Naruto did. Peace is one of the greatest messages of Catholicism as well. If we cooperate, with the Holy Spirit, then we get to cooperate with the building of peace here on earth. So it's not about God wanting to belittle our lives. It's about God wanting to use our lives to, to, to make something meaningful, to change something meaningful into this world. Hey, if you just like what you watch, I just want to tell you that we have a part one of this Naruto reaction, which you can watch on the video right here on your screen. And if you want, if you're generous, Tip us a coffee on our coffee page. And finally, thanks for watching our Naruto reaction videos. We'll make sure to keep up with making more content like this and see you on the next one.